So welcome to my uh, sound effect tutorial where I'll be showing you just the basic way to add a sound effect to this animation. So to start we'll just hit file, import, import to library, and we'll just, I have a punching sound effect and a tiger screech sound effect. So just uh, hold down control and click on both of them and hit open. And there they are right there in your library. You can click on them and you can see the waveform. This one's just a one channel sound. This one, on the other hand, is a stereo sound, like a two-channel sound. Uh, they're both pretty good sound effects. Uh, first, we're going to add the punching sound effect. So the first thing we'll do is create a new layer. It's always good to have your uh, sound effects on uh, different layers, uh, like on a, on a separate layer. You don't want to have your sound effects kind of in with your stickman layers, because then it'll be hard to keep track of where they are. And if somebody else like tries to uh, change your animation, like if you send it to a friend to try and uh, play around with, they're going to have a hard time seeing where all your sounds are if they're in with everything else. So it's good to just create a couple sound layers, depending on how many sound effects you have. Anyways, what we'll do here is go to where we want the sound effect to be applied, which is right there, and just hit F6 to create a keyframe on this layer. Now drag the punch sound effect out into your, uh, out into your stage, and just like that, you'll see a little waveform of your sound effect will appear up in the timeline. And we can just preview this, control enter. So that sounds pretty good. Now uh, we're going to add a tire screech sound effect right when he hits the floor. So I'll just add the frame before because it takes a little tiny while to start up. So, and uh, yeah. So, anyways, we'll go right there, same thing. F6. Actually, the first thing, one thing I want to show you before that is if we add a keyframe right there, you'll notice that the uh, the waveform kind of disappears. You can only see it on that one keyframe. That doesn't affect the sound at all if we preview it. You can still hear the whole entire sound. So anyways, we'll undo that and go to when we want to apply that sound effect, which is right there. Hit F6 to create a keyframe and drag the tire screech sound effect out. doesn't matter where you drop it. And there it is right there. So now we preview this. That sounds pretty good. Uh, sounds a little bit cartoony, but it's kind of what this is. Uh, so that's pretty much it. The last thing I want to show you here, if we just get rid of this layer for now. And if we go into our movie clip, you can just, by the way, you can just double click on the movie clip in your scene to edit it. It'll be editing it kind of over in the first frame though. Uh, anyways, you can actually add sound effects right in movie clips. If I just drag this punching sound effect right out here onto a new layer, by the way, uh, you can, you'll see we'll have this punching sound effect at the very beginning. And since movie clips loop, so will the sound effect. So base, uh, the sound effect will start up every time the movie clip starts over. So every time the spike ball goes around once, you'll hear the punching sound effect. Here, let's go back to scene one, preview it, and we'll see how it sounds. So you can uh, really see the potential in that. I've used it once uh, when I was making a kind of animating a bug walking. Uh, I, I kind of I used a movie clip for each one of his legs because it was a bug with several legs, and uh, each time the leg kind of moved, I added a very subtle kind of sweeping sound effect, and uh, so that was really handy because every time the legs moved, I automatically had that sound effect playing playing in the background. Uh, whereas if you had to create a new layer and add that sound effect like every single frame it would just be a pain. So that can really help you out if it's a very repetitive sound. So anyways, hope that's given you a bit of an, an idea of how to add sound effects to your animations. So this con concludes my uh, my Stickman animation tutorial kind of series. Uh, but I think I will make some more Flash animations, like maybe, uh, uh, maybe how to make a button or something. So anyways, uh, stay tuned for that, and hopefully I'll be posting something like that in the next couple months. So anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed that, and yeah.